Alex Neal, that was a performance, particularly in that first half, born of a, a side that is determined to go up, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got to be determined. You know, we've got to show how much it means and, and go about our business in the right manner. And I thought certainly first half we did that. Um, and then second half I thought we played within ourselves. Um, but we're comfortable in the match. Never really got posed any problems. But I'd like to have seen us sort of speed up our play at times. But with the week that we've got ahead, maybe it's not a bad thing. You know, we didn't sort of overexert in the second half. Because um, we've got some really important games coming up where we're going to need as much energy as we can probably muster. Two wins and two clean sheets over Easter. I mean, it, it's been the perfect bank holiday weekend for you, hasn't it? Yeah, well, you just want to win the game. You know, regardless how you win it, whether it's a scrappy 1 0 or whether you go on and you're comfortable with winning the game, it doesn't really make any difference. About, it's about winning the points at this stage. Um, and today, I thought we thoroughly deserved the points. I thought first half in particular were very good. Um, and second half, we had some nice patterns of play without really being too over expansive um, so but the most important thing as I say we won the game and we did that comfortably Can you just clear up with Bradley Johnson um, we certainly think that's his 10th yellow card of the season and therefore a two game ban is, is that the way that you believe it is as well? That's the way it is Yeah, so yeah. That. He's, which is a huge blow isn't it? Yeah of course um, you don't want to lose any of your best players but he's picked up his 10th booking today which was avoidable um, which is really disappointing but um, it is what it is so what we need to do is make sure that someone else is going to get an opportunity and it's about them grasping it and, and hopefully coming in and, and showing an impact within the team and we've had players out you know Lewis grabbing stuff out as well and we've still managed to cope so it's about the squad and I've said that since I came here it's not just about the guys who are starting any in particular game it's about the whole group yeah, he's, he's scored three goals over the weekend. He's been brilliant for you, so I don't want to take too much away from him. But you used the word avoidable for that yellow card, and it, it certainly was, wasn't it? That, that didn't need to happen. Yeah, it didn't need to happen, but I think Bradley's just doing what players doing, coming on the pitch as quickly as he can. Um, and the referee obviously decided to book him. I don't, whether it was a book or offence or not, I'm not sure. Um, but as I say, it's, it's done now. We can't do anything about it. Um, so we just need to move on and, and make sure we're focused on the next game. But he was your match winner again today. That, those two goals he got in the first half were typically very well taken. Yeah, his header was fantastic. You know, it's, it's one when he went up, I didn't actually think he'd be able to score because of the lack of pace in the ball. And he generates so much power in the header. And the direction of the header was fantastic as well. And then the second one, he does what he does. You know, he's really dangerous in about the box. As I said last week, if it falls on that left foot in the box, then... It's a real danger and it did again today, so we're really pleased, um, but I thought we had some really good performances um, all over the pitch, particularly first half, so I'm um, just pleased we won the game. Five games to go, you, you finally broke into that, that top two, I, I know nothing's decided yet, but it is a very good time of the year to get into the automatic promotion places, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, and to have the points on the board, um, meaning you're above teams, you'd rather have them on the board than not, so that, that's important, and what we've got to do now is remain focused and make sure we put as much effort into the games coming up as we have done in, in the period since I've been here. You had Luciano Becchio on, on the bench today for the first time. Is that, has he done anything in training to get himself back in your thoughts? He's not done anything wrong. Which, you know, I just felt the way the game was going to potentially pan out, um, I was just thinking if, for instance, the game was a nil-nil and we needed to sort of go around them rather than through them. Um, because our, our whole game plan was to go through them but you need to obviously make sure that you've got contingency plans if it's not working Luciano's a big presence in the box and the one thing he has got is when the ball comes in there he's, he's got a goal on him as he's proven over his career and that's the reason he was on the bench And uh, it's here we go again now isn't it another big game out of the way and you look you've got Bolton on Saturday Leeds away Middlesbrough at home it's a huge 10 days or so ahead now for you isn't it Yeah it's just a, it's like a, a snowball effect isn't it you know it gets bigger and bigger each game that passes by so um, but none of them come any bigger than, than the game on Saturday so we need to make sure we take care of that and then the other ones after that that will then obviously gather more significance but if you don't win them then it becomes more difficult And just to finish with you, you talked before the Easter weekend about the importance of players being mentally strong at this time yeah. of the year the two games you've just had shows that your players have got that side of the game sorted doesn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about my squad I'm not worried about my players You know, it's just about making sure we turn up on the day and perform that's the only thing as a manager that you can't guarantee. You know, you can guarantee your preparation, you can guarantee how good your players can be if they're on their game. It's just about them making sure they turn up and they turn it on in that particular day. Um, and thankfully for us, we've managed to do that more often than not. Well done, sir, Alex. Thank you. Thank you.